So it looks like all my musing about the SpaceX explosion being due to a premature mixing of the fuel and an oxidant, probably due to a single failure in the propellant tanks, was wrong. Because the internet is all abuzz about a UFO that was seen just before the explosion. Yeah, I mean, why should we spend billions trying to find life in a galaxy far, far away when all we had to do was set up some fueling rockets like uh, baited mouse traps and wait for them to come to us? And would you believe it? A poll on a British newspaper actually has the majority of people voting for, <laughs> yep, you guessed it, aliens. Or be in the comments section. You don't have to go far to find things like this. You know, bugs don't travel in straight lines. Or it, Mac, f we through the looking glass here, people. Well, you might think that that's actually been photoshopped in there, but it hasn't. There really is a UFO on the SpaceX video just before the rocket explodes. That is a unidentified flying object. Well, except for that frame. That was photoshopped. But ignoring that, the rest is actually real. So let's see what we can find out about this video, shall we? Well, firstly, we know that rocket's about 70 meters tall. So that means that the height of the frame at the distance of the rocket is about 100 meters, which means that it's about 200 meters wide. We also know that sound travels at, well, <laughs> the speed of sound, which is about 300 meters per second or a kilometer or so every three seconds. So the time between seeing the explosion and hearing it tells us the distance. And that's... <laughs> 12 seconds. So the distance between the camera and the rocket is about four kilometers. That means if the moon were to actually rise behind this rocket, it would be about this size. You are a long way from this rocket. So let's put this all into a, well, perspective. Now, it's amazing at NASA launch pads just how many UFOs there are. So as remarkable as it may sound, there are at least three of these uh, unidentified flying objects around the SpaceX rocket before it blew up. And who, of course, can forget that close call when NASA totally had to call off a launch because of the presence of a 200 meter tall spider attacking the space shuttle. And I recall it circling over the uh, spacecraft were a couple of seagulls, and I've often wondered what happened to those seagulls. They must have been the most surprised birds in the world when that thing lit off. One, zero. Okay, one last time. These are small, but the ones out there are far away. <laughs> And amazingly, this UFO just after the explosion. Well, that unidentified flying object could be an alien spacecraft doing reconnaissance. But you've got to admit, it does look kind of like a bird. So let's say it's a bigger seabird with a wingspan of about one meter, about one yard. So we're four kilometers away from the rocket. How far away from the rocket is that bird? Well, let's take the diameter of the rocket as a known commodity. It's about three and a half meters in diameter. So at half the distance, an object about 1.7 meters in diameter would have the same angular size as the diameter of the rocket. And you can repeat that at half the distance again, you would need an object half the size to get the same angular size. So believe it or not, the bird that you're looking at here is actually about three kilometers from that rocket explosion. Now, birds typically travel about well, 50 kilometers an hour, 30 miles per hour, that sort of thing, about 1 20th of the speed of sound. The speed of sound is about 300 meters per second, so a bird would travel about 15 meters per second. So the frame at the distance of the rocket is about 200 meters, and that's at 4 kilometers. So at 1 kilometer, it will be about 50 meters, which means if it's a bird, we would expect it to take about 3 to 4 seconds to fly across the frame. And what do you know, it takes about three to four seconds to fly across the frame, or at least it would if it didn't stop to take a look at the explosion. But what about the UFO? That only takes about a quarter of a second to fly across the whole frame. That means that if it were at the same distance as this bird, it would be traveling about the speed of sound. 
Plus, it would be a remarkable UFO because it would be significantly smaller than a seagull, about the size of a football. Which raises the obvious question, if this UFO is actually about the same distance as the rocket, it would be travelling about four times the speed of sound and it would only be about one metre in diameter. So why wasn't there a sonic boom? Or maybe, just maybe, eat a bee or similar buzzing insect. About one centimeter, half an inch long, at a distance of about 30 meters from the camera, at which point the frame size is about 1.7 meters by about one meter. So the bee would be traveling at an amazing 1.7 meters in a third of a second, so about five meters per second, about 20 kilometers per hour or 10 miles per hour. You know, typical bee type speeds. Or alternatively, it could be a UFO from another galaxy. The only way to tell for certain is to, is to put this video through a special Deltatronic filter that reveals things that normal film can't. Now NASA and SpaceX have both tried to suppress this filter because the reptilian mass... Oh my God, what was that? No, they found me, but they can't. I encrypted everything. Come on, come on, process, upload.